So the biggest competitor that they have right now is BYD, and they actually delivered around 274,000 uh, vehicles for the month here, and that was actually around a 57.5% increase on a year-over-year -year basis. But one thing to note, uh, Nicole, uh, BYD really does focus on selling hybrid vehicles. So right now, China's data kind of mixes in hybrid as well as just pure EVs or BEVs, battery e electric vehicles. Uh, so sometimes this data can be a little bit skewed, and the reason why they kind of mingle these two uh, data points together is because the majority of the population that's buying these hybrids are really only utilizing the electric portion of the hybrid vehicle because they live in, in predominantly uh, populous areas. And so that's why they really mingle these numbers together. But if you're looking at the profit margins and when it comes to the uh, per vehicle car sales in itself, Tesla still does outperform. They're just not outperforming when it comes to pure volume being delivered to. Tesla is a company that's revolutionized the automotive industry with its innovative products and services. Its business model is based on three main pillars, direct sales, servicing, and charging network. These pillars give Tesla a competitive advantage over its rivals and enable it to create value for its customers and shareholders. In today's video, we're going to dive into a pretty interesting topic, one that explores a key factor that could contribute significantly to Tesla's valuation. This is none other than the rollout of Tesla's most remarkable vehicle of all time. This is one vehicle that could change the game completely for Tesla, placing it in a position where others will find it hard to meet up. We welcome in Kevin Green to discuss Tesla. A common, common theme here on this show is discussions around the EVs and particularly Tesla. So happy to have uh, Senior Markets Correspondent Kevin Green here for us to talk about the Potentially the king of EVs, I think. Is that the story? Is it from the journal? Yes, we are seeing that from the journal here, and they're actually really talking about their ability to expand their charging stations, and that could be a pretty significant core of their business here moving forward, and rightfully so. It's actually one of the fastest growing areas of Tesla, and when you're looking at the charging stations as well as the storage or energy storage space here, they are calling out the fact that Tesla is able to be able to get federal grant awards at around, uh, the, when they put their bids in for these federal grants, they're around 50% less when it comes to cost compared to its competitors. Editors, and they do believe that the construction costs for these charging stations are more efficient than other competitors as well. So this could also be a little bit of a windfall. And Alex, uh, you know, as uh, you know, some companies that have the ability to, uh, the ability to gain government funding uh, really do rely on that type of funding and usually is a pretty secured uh, way to be able to gain revenue here. So that expansion can definitely help out. Tesla's Cybertruck is a futuristic electric pickup truck that aims to revolutionize the automotive industry. The vehicle was first unveiled in November 2019, and it attracted a lot of attention for its unconventional design, impressive performance, and innovative features. The Cybertruck is expected to offer three models, each with different battery sizes, motor configurations, and even ranges. The base model has a single motor, rear wheel drive, and a range of 250 miles. The mid-range has a dual motor, all-wheel drive, and a range of 300 miles. And the top-of-the-line model has a tri-motor design, all-wheel drive, and a range of 500 miles. Hey guys, welcome back to Tesla Tomorrow. Tesla's business model is not only profitable, but it's also sustainable. The company's mission is to accelerate the world's transition to sustainable energy by producing electric vehicles, solar panels, batteries, and other clean energy solutions. Tesla's products are not only beautiful to drive, but they are also safer and smarter than other conventional vehicles. These cars have got the highest safety ratings in their class and are equipped with advanced features like autopilot and full self-driving capabilities, which all go forward to enhance convenience and comfort for the driver and passengers. Tesla's business model is also adaptable and scalable. The automaker is constantly innovating and launching new products and services like the Cybertruck, the Semi, the Roadster, the Powerwall, and the Solar Roof, as well as the RoboTaxi. But for this video, we're going to focus on the Cybertruck. Let's get started. But before we do, if you like this type of content, hit that like button, subscribe, and don't forget to turn on post notifications to keep up to date on everything happening with Tesla. Let's take a look at some of the features of this Tesla vehicle. The Cybertruck has a payload capacity of up to 3,500 pounds, a towing capacity of over 14,000 pounds, and an adjustable air suspension system. 
This car has a stainless steel exoskeleton that is resistant to dents, scratches, and even corrosion. It's also got lockable storage space, which totals up to 100 cubic feet, including a tonneau cover that can support the weight of a person. The Cybertruck has a spacious cabin that can seat six people comfortably, with additional storage under the second row seats. It's got a 17-inch touchscreen with a customized user interface that will control various functionality around the vehicle. And likewise, an onboard power and compressed air outlets can also be used for various purposes. The Cybertruck is expected to start production in mid-2023, with deliveries planned to begin by the end of 2023 Q3. However, the production timeline has been delayed several times due to various challenges and uncertainties. Some of those factors have affected the production schedule, and those are the global chip shortage, the COVID-19 pandemic, the construction of the Gigafactory Texas where the Cybertruck will be built, the design changes and regulatory approvals required for the vehicle, as well as the competition from other electric pickup trucks in the market. The Cybertruck is expected to have a significant impact on Tesla's demand and market share in the automotive industry. The vehicle has already received over 1 million reservations from customers who are eager to own the vehicle, and is expected to appeal to a wide range of customers who are looking for a versatile, powerful, and eco-friendly vehicle that can perform well in various scenarios. The Cybertruck is also expected to challenge the dominance of traditional pickup trucks in the US market, such as the Ford F-150, which is the best-selling vehicle in America. It will also expand Tesla's presence in other markets around the world, like in Europe and Asia, where pickup trucks are not as popular as they are in the US. It will also boost Tesla's revenue and profitability in the long term, as well as its brand recognition and innovative reputation. Tesla bull and investor Kathy Wood once shared her thoughts on the Cybertruck, stating that she has looked at it from many different angles and that it surpasses all other trucks. According to her, when it comes to comparing the Cybertruck to the Ford F-150, there's just no comparison. Wood noted that the Cybertruck will be a significant competitor to the Ford F-150, explaining that other electric vehicle makers will have to sell their own vehicles either at a loss or a higher price, since Tesla is able to produce its own batteries and is lowering its overall cost in making EVs. Another Tesla bull, Brett Winton, also said in his tweets that in cars, Tesla is delivering transformative margins in vehicle segments where traditional manufacturers can barely tread water. He added that Tesla could opt for similar margins in trucks and by doing so, push all of its incumbent domestic competitors onto its Cybertruck blade. Winton explained that while Tesla took an engineering risk for both the Cybertruck and the Model X, the risk embedded in the Cybertruck exoskeleton accrues to the core cost-performance characteristics of the vehicle. After years of waiting, Tesla CEO Elon Musk has said production of the Cybertruck could be finally ready and trucks could be sold to consumers soon. Musk has been hyping up the Cybertruck not only as Tesla's best vehicle yet, but also as possibly the best product ever. While the launch of the vehicle in 2019 wasn't without its issues or criticism, the hype around it has actually been quite successful. At the time, Musk announced that Tesla received over 250,000 reservations for the Cybertruck within a week of unveiling the vehicle. Generally, Tesla receives a lot of reservations early after an unveiling, and then it tapers off. But that wasn't the case with the Cybertruck as some Tesla stores were getting hundreds of Cybertruck reservations per week, even during the pandemic. There were also many eyes on the Cybertruck production program, as this vehicle is expected to have significant long-term impacts on the EV industry and the pickup truck market. Cybertruck pre-orders helped boost sales massively, with pre-orders reaching insane heights since its launch. What do you think about Tesla's Cybertruck, and how do you think Cybertruck sales can affect Tesla's stock price in the future? Let us know down below and don't forget to tell us what your valuation of Tesla is. And if you want to know more about what Tesla's been up to over the last few days, go ahead and click on this next video on your screen. See you there.